Rock and Roll News. Let There Be Rock, AC slash DC's fourth studio album, completes this March 21st the 46th anniversary of its release in Australia, about four months after it would be released internationally. Recorded between the months of January and February 1977 at Albert Studios, in Sydney, the album is the result of a decision taken between the brothers Malcolm and Angus Young to explore the energy of their guitars to the maximum, which resulted in the most explosive work ever. Released by the band A combination of electrifying sounds gives the intensity of this album. The foundations of bassist Mark Evans who would do his last job with the guys, next to drummer Phil Rudd, are precise. Bon Scott's vocals fit perfectly with lyrics designed to show how hard the band had to work to achieve success. These are some of the characteristics that made the album incomparable and can be felt right away in the opening with Go Down and Dog Eat Dog, in the title track these qualities are even clearer. This is an album that leaves no room for the listener to catch their breath from the Young Brothers' onslaught. Bad Boy Boogie and Overdose show electrifying guitar attacks that would mark the visceral sound imposed by ACDC. The tracks that close the disc are so strong that they have become the band's trademarks. Hell Ain't a Bad Place to Be and Whole Lotta Rosie show all the attitude, interpretation and energy of the guys who participated in this masterpiece. More than four decades have passed and the message printed by ACDC in Let There Be Rock is that music, to be truly exciting, needs to be strong, forceful and daring.